The study was initiated to explore the use of a lower daily dose of efavirenz, which is a very important antiretroviral drug used as part of combination antiretroviral therapy in the treatment of HIV infection. It's even more important now, given the release uh, just yesterday of the WHO's uh, consolidated guidelines for the first time um, recommending efavirenz as first-line therapy for all. And over a nine-month period, uh, commencing in August 2011, in a network of 38 investigational centres in 13 countries in Australia, Asia, Africa, Europe and Latin America, we recruited 630 adults with no previous treatment. Participants were randomised to receive a regimen that included tenofovir plus emtricitabine as the fixed dose combination Truvada, plus either the standard approved dose of 600 milligram efavirenz or a reduced dose of 400 milligrams of efavirenz. Trial participants were observed regularly over the subsequent one year period with a focus on antiviral potency and safety. The trial used a double-blind placebo-controlled methodology that was designed to show the two treatment arms were not substantially different in their ability to control HIV replication. Our primary results indicate that a lower daily dose of efavirenz was equally effective as the standard dose in terms of suppressing HIV replication over a 48-week period. Overall, greater than 94% of participants had suppressed HIV replication at one year, which is consistent with other studies and is what we would expect in uh, this population taking higher standard daily dose after one year. So in parallel with this finding, we observed no overall reduction in the number of adverse events experienced on study by people taking the lower dose compared to the higher dose. Uh, neither was there any evidence that the lower dose was better tolerated. However, we did observe a numerical reduction in the side effects that one would normally associate with efavirenz uh, when it's used in clinical practice. Furthermore, uh, stopping treatment because of these adverse effects was more frequent and significantly so in higher daily days uh, with in recipients of the higher do daily dose as opposed to the lower dose of efavirenz. So essentially, our results show that a reduction in the daily dose of efavirenz by one third is both safe and effective compared to the higher dose that is currently approved worldwide. And therefore, we are suggesting that a lower daily dose could be used in routine clinical practice. So a reduced daily dose could translate into a lower cost of treatment and permit more effective and efficient use of the very scarce resources of in global health budgets. Um, this could mean that millions more people could receive life-saving treatments for the same amount of funding. So volunteers in the study are currently still in follow-up until 96 weeks on study and ongoing experimental work will further refine and inform our understanding of the primary results. Thank you.